everybody. Appreciate y'all tuning in the channel here at 323 Fabrication. We are not gonna disappoint y'all with this video. 100% rotten, crusty, barn fine GTO content today. Went out there, pushed the car off the trailer from where we unloaded it, and uh, it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna go fire it up. Maybe transmission work. Maybe I shook it up enough on the drive over here. But figured. Y'all are going to enjoy seeing the car outside of a barn, outside of a garage, in the sunshine, wheels and tires on it. I guess I'll fire it up, rev it up a few times, let y'all check it out. But I know it looks good sitting out there in the yard, so I'll take y'all out there. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 Da, da. Hope y'all like my music. Made it up on the spot. Look at that thing out there in the daylight. Boom. I love this car. Crusty and raggedy and everything. Wish I had a different wheel on the front of it, it'd look better. Got a pretty good stance to it, don't it? Get that old orange one in the background. I need to put that other headlight bezel in there. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna bust it off here in just a minute. Let y'all check it out. Maybe it's got a transmission for some magical reason. Got my safety power disconnect. Hello, guys. It's in park. It's in park. See what it does. picking up fuel yeah that's what it's done it's drained the bowls but Thank <laughs> you. 
I ain't got no train mission in it. That was a good thought, right, guys? Oh, that drove a drink, guys. Oh, well. Well, he we pulled it up in here with the forklift, and then if I nailed the forklift back out around it on the other slab, but went ahead and snatched out our quick release radiator. Dad pulled the flex fan and pulley and the belts, and we're gonna start taking stuff off. Go ahead and pull this motor and transmission out this car. See, y'all just stay tuned. It's gonna take a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, we can get it both out today. Simple stuff's easier to work on. accessories off I snatched drive shaft out of it the uh, transmission appears to be full of water so who knows we're gonna go ahead and pull it out anyway got to do motor mounts try to pull it with the headers don't know if that's gonna happen gonna try to pull it with the booster on there don't know if that's gonna happen either but we're gonna see got to do motor mounts transmission mount and then Kind of go from there. Making a little bit of progress. We started at noon when we rolled the car in here, so we'll see how long it takes us to get it out. All right, y'all. We are down to what little bit is left. The motor mount bolts are out. The we don't know if we're gonna be able to take it out with the headers yet. Starters off of it, wiring's unhooked, front accessories are off, drive shaft is out of it. The, uh, check this out. This transmission cross member is, well, I can't move it now. I done set the back of the train back on it, but you can see transmission that moved. I just moved it backwards. It should have been centered between them two bolts, and now it's back here. It's broken. So, that's always good. But I know a guy that can weld. I guess we're gonna start moving it and try to see if it's something that's gonna come out or not. Hopefully it will. If not, we have to pull the headers. That's what we're doing. And it's hanging out because it's hitting the oil thingy. You know, technical terms. By the way, these are 4X heads. Which I think are good heads. I don't know. I saw that number. I don't know if that means anything. But anyway, these Headman three-piece headers. Three primary headers. And the other one's off. Same thing, 4X head, and there's a old Made in America headman header. Now we're gonna see if we can squeeze this booger out of here.
We had an almost complete car, didn't we? There it is. Poncho motor. Went and snatched a uh, yoke out of a 6L80E that we've got. That way we didn't puke all the guts on the floor. But. There's the old 400. Go ahead, tell me, what is it? 215. So we started right at noon. So two hours and 15 minutes. That's not terrible. Probably wouldn't make it in NASCAR, but having never messed with none of this stuff, you know, I don't think that's too bad, do you? There she is. Pushed her outside. Gonna degrease it, probably do some more stuff later on, but I want y'all to see what was in the transmission. Evidently it was radiator was leaking into the transmission when I was messing with it at the house, which I didn't know about, so might have been good, might have not, I don't know. Just took apart now. But I might have to pull this fender off so we can get this air box off. See, this thing's all busted anyway. I'm going to put a heater box on it just to get rid of the AC for now because it's going to take too much money to make that work. Probably degrease everything and clean it up. Maybe new motor mounts. Got to fix that because it's leaking. Got to adjust a, a jet a dress. This front suspension, it's got a gangster lean. Let's see if y'all can see it. Let me back up. There you go. A little bow legged. But, uh, probably gonna put the front springs off the other orange car. Carousel red, maroon, whatever it was. Pull those springs off, put them on here, because this car sits really low and they've got spacers in it trying to pick it up, so we figured they'd cut the coils. And then, you know, take all the lower and stuff off the rear, let it set up where it's supposed to be. Um,. But I couldn't end the day without making a mess. So I had to spill water everywhere. Went ahead and snatched the trans off. The torque converter bolts were 9 sixteenths and all the bell housing bolts were 9 sixteenths. So we pulled that apart. Of course I spilled water everywhere. Dad's messing with it some more. But y'all, it's hot, and that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I appreciate y'all tuning in to the channel, 323 Fabrication. Appreciate all our new subscribers. You know, we're, we're, we're gonna cut it close for the No Names Nationals, but I'm gonna get this Turbo 400 rebuilt, and paint this motor, and do a few other things while it's out. Slap it back together. Y'all have a good one.